Good evening, tubers. So, it's been 12 months since I got the uh, the diesel heater here. Uh, it's only been on the house about nine months, uh, maybe eight months. In that time, we've put more than 200 litres of diesel through it, and I have not touched a single thing on it. Um, the exhaust runs out the wall with a muffler on it there. That's uh, Frybo sheeting, so it's nice and heat resistant. As you can see, there's been no effect on it. Exhaust pipes, always nice and purple looking. Uh, the intake resonator, foam sound didn't it? it's just chilling, doing its thing. I have that outlet loose, so sometimes I just take that off just to make it nice and warm out here when I'm looking at the batteries or doing whatever. There's something really cool that's uh, found with this uh, new Samsung Note 10 Plus, whatever it is. Look at the field of view we can use. But yeah, anyway, so the way this one has ran for this whole time is off that blue battery. That blue battery is a 60 amp hour um, full river deep cycle and it's got a lab power supply set to 13.2, 13.3 volts on it and it just happily ticks away at that. Now that allows for we we'll normally have the current regulated on that so it doesn't get too high. That's running off the power inverter. I didn't really need to do a DC to DC option. I was doing it with the antimatter. Uh, but I'd forget to put it on the charger or I'd be away for work or whatever. And uh, sometimes the missus would run it until it went flat. Um, I didn't want to do that too many times to the battery. So I just didn't know how long it would run before, before it went flat. And uh, yeah, so it certainly saved us a lot of money. On, uh, on our heating for our house. Um, still just pushing in through the uh, window there and creating a negative pressure, I mean a positive pressure inside the house, uh, which allows a lot of the drafts and things like that to be pushed outside. Um, so the draft under the front door and things like that are basically eliminated because the house is actually getting pressurized with warm air and it's pushing the draft back outside. Uh, still glow plug working fine um, No real abundance of soot outside. This is the one we ran on the vegetable oil. You might remember Yeah, still just going strong. So It's been a year um, Since that first test in the shed at least Everything's still reliable. Everything's still running great. It would have would Have to have thousands of hours on it it's only on 3 out of 10, so I'd say 30% at the moment. I'm still just happily ticking away. It's a jumbly wire and mess still. I don't, haven't set foot over there since, because the heaters just sat there and worked. So that gives you a good indication of how good they are. It just, it just works. Um, very happy with it. I will link these and the 2 kilowatt ones in the video description if you want to pick yourself up one. You now it's heading towards winter for my American friends over that side of the world. If you pick one up, the channel gets a kickback. I'll post them on eBay and Banggood. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for enjoying the diesel heaters videos. Um, before next winter, I'll definitely be revamping this setup. Get something a bit better and smarter. Uh, I may even figure out a way to source the... Uh, air from a different part of the house to here and actually make like a cyclone through the house but um, like I say it saved me a bunch of money it's been doing its thing it's cheap enough on diesel cheaper than natural gas from the maths that I've done uh, the power that runs it's free from the sun so it runs off the solar system and yeah just blows beautiful hot air straight in the house um, I don't know what else to say. It's, it's pretty simple. It's a great unit. It's been performing all this time. Lots of people said some nasty things about the uh, Chinese diesel heaters. But, uh, 
so far not seen yet. So, thanks for watching guys. Um, if anything changes, I'll update you. I've got to go and install a couple more of these for a few people. So when that happens, I'll uh, make videos on that, spe spe specifically a 2 kilowatt one next. Yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next video. Cheers.